everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Jennifer and today I'm gonna to be doing some Chanel unboxing. I am a little late um, in getting this. I uh, put it up on Instagram, um, but uh, I didn't unbox it because it's been a little hot here in New England. Um, some of you in Canada, some of you in the Pacific Northwest know what I'm talking about and uh, our air conditioning, incredibly lucky that I have air conditioning, um, but it's not, uh, it, it <laughs> the ones we put in, we're meant for, you know, 80 degree days, maybe a 90 degree day here and there, not these kind of temperatures. So we'll have to address that later. But anyway, uh, it is cool enough. It's still very warm in here, but it's cool enough that I thought I could film. I'm one of those people who don't function well when it's hot. Um, I get a uh, heat stroke, I pass out. Um, my brain kind of shuts down. Uh, I just can't like think straight. Um, so now it's cool enough. It's about 75 inside, which is starting to get to a point where I can, I can do things. So I was like, all right, we're going to film. Um, so I know you've already seen a ton of videos. Let's open this up. A ton of videos with, um, the Serenite, Serenite, quad and the new liners. I did a video with the vibrations one, the quad, uh, a couple, we're, we're about to be in, this is going to be July. So I guess I did it in May. I had that one for quite some time and the liners I put up in June. So, um, I'll link those, um, videos so you can have those. I was lucky enough to get a lot of the collection early. So that was nice. Um, Chanel always does an amazing job. Uh, Marae in Atlanta is the one I order all my stuff from. Uh, Marae does a fantastic job. Always includes just like really nice things. Ooh, Chanel number no. five samples. Um, Gita, if you're watching, um, I'm definitely gonna try the Chanel number no. five again and see if I maybe like it. Um, might kind of sound like uh, an interesting uh, position to have since I used to work for Chanel, but Chanel number no. five has never been a favorite fragrance of mine. So when the new collection came out, the 100 year, I really didn't pick up much. I picked up one thing uh, because I don't like the Chanel number no. five fragrance. Uh, but but uh, I was talking to, to uh, one of my friends here on this platform and Gita had told me that she didn't really like it before either, but then she tried it again and she loves it now. So maybe I just need to try it again. Beige, this is the beige perfume from Chanel. Have not tried that. Ooh, what's this? Ooh, ooh. Little cream. Marae does the best job. She always makes sure that she, and, and this is not focusing in what, there we go. She always uh, throws in lots of little gifts. She's, you know, always lets me know what's coming. And you know, that's the thing guys. I know you can all order online. I mean, I've, I've ordered online. I'm not saying I've never ordered online, but you don't get the kind of service that you do from a person. Plus. You know, I used to work for Chanel years and years ago. And you know, I just feel like I always like to support a person behind uh, the makeup, not just not just the makeup. Um, okay, so let's see what we got here. So we've got the two new liners that I didn't have. The Rose Querve, 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 no. Uh, Vert Emerald, so the green and the rose. Um, and then the Serenite eyeshadow, I picked up one for myself and one for a lucky winner when I do my 5,000, um, person giveaway someday. And then this Chanel, this is the Edinburgh perfume. This is really unusual really unusual. It's an eau de toilette. So it's light. I think it's going to actually be nice for the summer. It's a really different fragrance for Chanel. And I'm not saying it's for everybody. Some people are not going to like it. Cause like I said, it's, it's a different kind of fragrance for Chanel, but I really enjoy it. So I bought the, um, I bought the big bottle of it and, uh, I'm really excited about wearing it. I will do a picture or something on Instagram of the five thousand five thousand subscriber giveaway and what's in it, uh, thus far. I, I just sort of keep accumulating things and I realize I really haven't taken stock of what's in the giveaway. So I will, I'll put a picture up or do something so you guys can see. Uh, on my face today is the Say Slip Tint because it's too hot to put on foundation where it was. 
that's just me. I, I like I said, I don't do well in the heat. Um, so slip tint, um, a little bit of Chanel, um, illuminating blush. I have on the Kosas brow gel. I'm just looking at my face. I'm like, what do I have on? I think that's it. I think that's it today. I was on a lot of Zoom calls today, and honestly, I just was like, look, this is what you get. This is as good as you're getting today. I'm sorry. Like, I'm not doing full makeup. It's too hot. Okay. So, what I thought we'd do today is we do the Serenite on my eyes. I'll swatch it for you. And then I will go through the liners. Uh, I did do a video on all the liners I had, but I picked up quite a few since then. So, yeah. So, I'll show you them all on my arm. Also, I have the old, new boxes of the liners. I have old boxes of liners. Um, I don't even know how old these are. I have old boxes of liners is the point. So I can compare and take pictures of exactly what's in the old ones versus what's in the new ones. And I will post that so you can see it. Uh, I can't see it right now because it's really tiny, but I will post it for you so you guys can see exactly what's in the old liners versus the new liners. and how reformulated it really is. Okay, I will not be doing the coal liners today, just the waterproof liners. So something to keep in mind. Okay, so let's see how many liners I have here. I have all the existing and some discontinued Chanel liners in the waterproof formula. So we have three, Six, nine, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. There are 23, including the new shades. So we'll go into all those. I'll show you every single shade on my arm so you can see the differences. Okay, so Serenite. Um, I also have, I also picked up sunglasses. And it's Marae's fault because she showed them to me and I had to have them. So I was pretty good this month on like not buying a ton of makeup for myself. Then I went and bought Chanel sunglasses. I tried, I tried. Okay, those are the shades. Let's watch them. You know what, let's do it on my hand so I can do the um, liners on my arm without having to wash them off in between. I was very excited about this palette because it just, it, it's just a very, it's just a very different color story than Chanel has been doing lately <laughs> or was doing before, I guess I should say. There's a lot of reds, a lot of, you know, just there, it wasn't my color story. And I'm a big fan of Chanel. I, I root for Chanel. I want them to have good products and I want to like, you know, what they come out with. So I was, I was very happy. The uh, vibration squad is stunning. I mean, it's a warm quad. So if you don't want warm, you won't like it. Um, like I said, I'll, I'll have my video linked, but I really like it. All right. So that, there we go. Those are the four shades. And I would say these shades look more plummy violet gray they're not like a strong purple um the strongest purple is probably this and that looks more like lavender to me okay so let's do a look let's take a chanel brush let's take the chanel eyeshadow brush this is like a little domed brush i actually really like this brush And I'll bring you a little closer so you can see the eye look better. My skin looks sweaty, <laughs> dewy, but sweaty. It's really funny as like, I don't usually get, you know, that kind of look, but today it's so hot that that's what we got. All right, let's take the deepest shade, that like grayish shade. Do I want to use, hmm, maybe I don't want to use that. Maybe I just want to use that in the outer corner. Let's use this shade. Let's use this and use that to start this look off. Okay. 
definitely pigmented. This kind of looks like mm, magenta, purpley. You guys let me know what you think, but it's kind of got, it's not like a purple purple, a purple purple. That was good. It's, you know, more, it's got more of like a magenta purple. I don't have primer on, by the way, guys. Um, so it'll be interesting to see in this heat how this does. But so far, it's definitely pigmented. I'll give it that. Definitely pigmented. This is a really pretty shade. I really like that. I mean, it's, it's bold, actually. Well, on me. On me, it's bold. I mean... If you've watched my my channel I so actually I was about to say you'll know that I'm you know very pale um, I have um, some a little bit of a fake tan today I use the um, tan Lux that uh, one of you lovely people recommended um, with a moisturizer and I uh, got this lovely little bit of a you know tan I mean it's you know Compared to like, you know, somebody who actually can tan, I'm sure it's fairly pathetic, but I was proud. I was like, oh, I have a little bit of tan. Not that anyone can see it, but you know, hey. I thought it looked good. Uh, that is a very pigmented shade, and I actually really like that shade. I think it's really pretty. Like I said, it kind of looks, it's like a pinky purple, but it's, it's really pretty. I think it looks really nice. Um, and it's very pigmented. I mean, that, you know, I didn't use a lot. I tapped a lot off my brush, actually, um, in the beginning. Yeah, it looks really good. I'll, I'll clean up the, you know, outer area later, but I think that looks nice. I'm just uh, evening out the sides. Okay, so let's take that grayish shade and kind of concentrate it over here in the corner. We'll use the same brush. Just trying to get, yeah. It's like a grayish purple. Just kind of doing the outer corner here. We'll blend together later, but I'm just trying to deepen that up. Wow, this is definitely more pigmented than I thought it was gonna be. The Vibrations is very pigmented as well. You know, this is one of the reasons that I, I loved Chanel back in the day. Like, I had some beautiful quads. They, uh, they've all expired now. I mean, they're the ones that, the, those shades, like, there were some really beautiful, beautiful, really pigmented quads. Um, I think most of them have been discontinued and no longer, you can no longer get them because now they would be bad, but, um, yeah, they had some very pigmented. There was one that was, had like this purple kind of shade to it. I wish I could remember the name of it. Um, this actually reminds me of one, but I can't think of what it was. That's what happens when you get old, your brain just shuts down. Uh, all right, so we'll use the light one. Um, let's use that. Let's see if that works. Yeah, it's light enough. Kind of use that as a, this is an inner corner brush. Um, but I often use it, kind of just enhance the brow area just a little and then blend. Yeah, that'll work. And then I'll put it on the inner corner once we blend it out a little bit. So let me take a Wayne Goss 03. Talking about um, Wayne Goss, I'd love to get your thoughts on whether or not you want me to pick up the mascara he came out with. Um, if you have watched my channel, you know I'm a big Wayne Goss fan. I absolutely love the artist and his products. I really, I really love his blushes and his bronzer duo that came out this year. Uh, really excellent. And um, the eye palettes, actually, I enjoy very much. Uh, lip glosses, really like the lip glosses uh, and the liners. So. I'm a big Wayne Goss fan of his products as well, um, but I don't wear waterproof mascara. It's just not something I really have. So 
I wasn't gonna pick it up because I don't wear waterproof mascara, but I'd love to hear your thoughts because if you guys want me to pick it up and try it, I'll pick it up and try it. Okay, let's take the like lavender shade um, and put that on the eye. Let's use the KZ07 brush. This was the lightest shade, not the lightest shade, this was like the, the most lavender shade, like true quote purple. Like this one has more like a magenta. This is very light. This has like a grayish. It's like, it, it has a little bit of cool purple in it, but it's gray. This one looks more lavender to me. At least it did on my hand. So let's, let's try it on the eye. Yep. And then I'll take that lightest shade and use it for inner corner. Yeah, this is really pretty and way more pigmented than a lot of the recent, a lot of the recent Chanel's. So that's great. Okay, let's just lighten that up a little in here. Just going with that lightest. I, and I think you could do definitely different looks with this. I mean, obviously it's a cool palette compared to the uh, Vibrations, which is a warm palette, but I think you could take and accentuate the gray more. You could do like the gray and the light shade. You could do mostly lavender, or just put it in a little bit of gray. I mean, you, there's lots of different looks you could do with this. Um, I think it would be pretty easy actually to, to do that. I'm gonna take another Chanel brush. This is a dual-ended Chanel. Uh, it's a dual-ended eyeshadow. It's number 200. That's what this side of the brush looks like. And I'm just gonna go back into that original um, purple shade, magenta-ish shade. Just go over, not, not a lot, just a little. If you want more um, like contrast, I would take one of the deeper shades and use that like super light shade that I used um, my brows and inner corner for just the lid. I think that would look really stunning as well. In fact, I might pop a little bit of that. I'm use my finger. I'm just gonna take a little bit of that lightest shade. We'll blend it, but yeah, just keep it a little bit lighter on the inside. Okay, let me clean out, a uh, clean out. Let me clean up the outer part of my eye and we'll be right back. There we go. We have the final look. I don't have any liner. I think that's beautiful. Really impressed um, with Chanel in these summer collections. I hope <laughs> I hope they keep doing it. Okay, uh, so for the liners, um, there are, like I said, seven, or I, maybe I didn't mention it. There are seven new liners uh, in regards to shades. There are a whole bunch of, quote, reformulated ones, and I've gone through that in my last video, which I will have linked. Um, but what I'm gonna do today is show you all of the shades. So what I thought I would do today is put on a little bit of liner. We'll pick a shade, we'll pick one of the new ones and I'll use that. Put on some Chanel mascara and then we'll get into the, the different shades so you can see them. So let's see, what would be a good shade for us to use today that is new? Mm. Maybe Prune Intense or the gray. Prune Intense, I think, would be pretty. Let's try the gray. I just think it might be kind of interesting. Now, don't worry, I'm gonna show you all the shades. I'm gonna put them on my arm, but let's try this. These go on super easily, super easily, like so smooth and they stay on and I mean seriously and I've been using them in this heat um, and they don't they don't budge they don't come off your eyes they won't transfer I mean I don't have super oily eyelids I admit I have dry I drive dry eyelids but it's been it's been really hot um, and the, these really don't transfer they're amazing Okay, so let me put on a little bit of mascara so you can see the final look and then we'll do every shade. Okay, so we're back, final look with uh, some mascara, throw on a little bit of Dream uh, Chanel lipstick and um, I love it. If you've been watching my channel for a little while, you know I'm not the biggest fan of pink. Um, 
pink shades, um, but purples have become, I'm very fond of purples at this point. And this reminds me a little bit of one of the Dior quints, which I can't think of right at the moment. Um, I'm gonna have to do some swatching because this reminds me of something. But I really do like it. I love the color story. I think it's really beautiful. I think that gray is kind of unique uh, because it's this purpley gray, which I really like. I love the lavender shade. The light shade is beautiful. Um, that magenta purple kind of shade is, is right up my alley. So I think it just created a gorgeous look. Um, very fond of it. And um, yeah, I really, really like it. Um, the formula is excellent. And we'll see how well it wears, uh, but it's very pigmented, went on beautifully, blended beautifully. Very excited. So the liners, like I said, I did an entire video on the liners, so um, I'll, I'll make sure that was linked before so you can see it. But today we're gonna do every single shade so you can see all the shades of the liners that are current, I think, still available there may be one or two that i'm aware of when i when i know it's discontinued i'll let you know okay so we came back out a little bit again because i want to be able to show you my entire arm so let's go through the new shades first so you can see those and then we'll go to the older shades so let's go ahead and start let's do the one i did today which was the gris graphite i know it's pronounced i think it's pronounced gris graphite something like that um okay This is a really beautiful metallic shade. I think it's my, it might be my favorite of the new ones. I'm not sure, it's, it, well, it's hard to say. Um, the next one is the Rose Cuerve, which is the one that uh, I just picked up. This is also metallic. Next, and the shades that I think are close, I'll put near them so you can see like the comparisons. Um, this is the Avert Emerald. This also has a metallic, not super metallic, but there's definitely some shimmer in there. Then we have the Prune Intense. This is uh, more of a matte shade. Blue metal. I do love the blue metal, I admit. It has a little bit of metallic, and it's just, it's a really pretty shade. And don't worry, I'll hold it up at the end uh, so you can see all the shades. Khaki metal, which I love a good green. I love that they did two greens, that they have the Vert Emerald and then they have the khaki, which is great. Okay. And then the one that's probably, um, I don't wanna say it's the most unique, but it, I don't think I've ever, well, I, I shouldn't say ever. I haven't seen something from Chanel that looks like this in a while, um, this kind of eyeliner. This is, or it's right here. It's a little hard to see on me because it kind of blends. Um, antique, you can see it when I go like this because it's got a gold cast really pretty I've worn it a couple times in some videos um, and I've mentioned it I've gone back and changed it so hopefully you can see that all right so let's go back to the old shades there's the blanc graphique which is white um, basically um, let's do it under here and this has it has like a it's it's not I wouldn't say it's a pure white. It has more of like a little bit of a cream to it. A little bit. A little bit. Okay. Then we have Brune Agape. It's a beautiful shade. Almost like copper. A little bit. Bronze. More like bronze. Brune Agape. Then we have Noir 
Enigmatique. And I'm gonna put this over on this side because there are several shades of black and I want you guys to see the differences. So that's the Noir Enigmatique. Then we have Intense Teal, and I will put the Intense Teal, I think it's closest in shade to the Vert, and not really, but nothing is really like Intense Teal. I have been told that this is not on the Chanel site right now. It is at Macy's. That's the shade right there, and I'll make sure I link it. Then we have Fervent Blue, which is also a bright blue. I'll put it over Blue Metallic or Blue Metal. Fervent Blue has more of a, um, it's almost like, like a metallic cobalt. It's, it's brighter than the new Blue Metallic. All right, let's pull out Marine because that's another blue so I can show you that one. I'll put it below and Marine is a deep navy kind of shade. That's Marine right here. Let's take the shade Noir Intense. I'll put it underneath the Noir Enag en Enigmatique. If you're looking for the blackest black, I'd say Noir Intense is probably the blackest black shade. We have Black Wood, which has a grayish, brownish black. I actually love this shade. Um, that's black wood. And then we have, I think it's a bean, which is black. Um, and I'll put it, I love the fact that they have so many different shades so that if you want something that is, um, you know, a very, very rich, uh, deep black, I would say the, the Noir Intense. If you want something that has a little bit of like gray to it, you have the Noir uh, Enigmatique and then you have the Black Wood, which has a brownish gray. And then you have the Ebene, which is like sort of a soft black. All right, let's pull out Espresso, which is brown. Um, let's put it under, we're running out of space. Let's put it above the, uh, or antique. Espresso is a great brown, super brown. Like it's really a good shade. This is right there, the espresso. And there's the or gold that's new. We're getting down there guys, we're getting close. Um, Psyche, which was a, a limited edition. I'm not sure if this still exists. Oh, it looks a lot like Prune Intense. So here's Psyche, here's Prune Intense. It's deeper, it's a deeper purple. It's got more brown in it, but similar. All right, let's take Romance, which I use as a lipstick. Um, we'll put it above the um, Rose Cuerve. Those are also very similar. Romance was also a limited edition. There is Romance and there's the Rose Cuerve. Rose Cuerve is pinker. There's the Rose Cuerve. I'm, I'm sure I'm pronouncing it wrong, but there's the new one. And there's the Romance. The Romance has more of like a dusty pink. This is a little bit more like a rose pink. Eros, which I'm gonna put it in the put it in like the purple line here. Eros looks, I mean, it actually, it's kind of, Eros is this one right here. I just put it on. So that's the Eros, that's the Prune Intense. 
um, and then that's the um, Psyche, uh, the limited edition one. So that that's Eros. It it has a little bit of shimmer to it. It's got a little bit more of like magenta, not as purple as the prune, but they are similar shades. Three more to go. All right, the khaki intense. So we'll put this next to the khaki uh, metal. There is the khaki intense, which is discontinued. And here's the khaki metal. Um, this, there's a slight difference. The um, khaki intense is a little bit deeper, a little bit more forest green, but they are very similar shades. So if you weren't able to pick up the uh, Khaki Intense because it's it's discontinued item, the new one, um, the Khaki Metal, is very, very close. And on the eye, there's a subtle difference uh, because the Khaki Intense has a little bit more of that brown and the Khaki Metal is a little bit, you can see it's a little bit lighter. So there's a little bit of a difference, but I don't think it's drastic. Um, all right, so Cassis, um, it's definitely more of this purple, so let's, let's put it here under Psyche. Cassis is more of that, like, grape shade. All right, last but not least is Purple Chalk. Purple Chalk is a great shade. Um, we'll put it up here. Let's see if that's probably the easiest. Yeah. Again, it's more in that purple line, but it's got shimmer. It's a really beautiful shade. There's purple chalk. And those are all the Chanel liners, waterproof liners all the shades. So there you go. So I would say the new seven shades are really beautiful. I really like the um, shades that they came up with. I'm so glad that they um, came up with a shade that replaces the Khaki Intense because that's one of my favorite shades. Um, so I'm glad to have it in my collection. The gray, the gris, the gris uh, is beautiful shimmer that just, you know, you don't really see a shade like that very often. And I really, I, this one right here, I really, really love it. So I think that's great. Um, this rose cuerve is or cuerve is really interesting. I'm gonna. Ha I haven't tried that on the eye yet. The emerald, the emerald is a really pretty green. Um, I really like that. Prune intense is you know so it's different than all the other purples that I have. Uh, blue metal again. It sort of fits in between these other two. Here's the khaki that you know so it's similar. Um, and then the or um, antique and then um, you know that's the espresso, but. Um, the Or Antique is, is really unique and, and beautiful. So, yeah, very excited to have all these new seven shades. Um, and as I said in my other video, um, when I reviewed the formula, I cannot tell a difference on the eye. These do not move. They go on incredibly smoothly. They don't irritate my eyes. They're fantastic. Um, in regards to the formulation, like I said, I will take pictures of the old box and the new box and I will make sure it's posted on Instagram so that you can all see what the difference might be. I don't know what it is, but I will make sure um, that it's posted. And I think that's it for today, guys. Oh, wait, one more thing. Okay, so sunglasses. Almost forgot the sunglasses. And I'll do um, different shots with this, but this is the sunglasses. There's the case. Let's open it up. I'm very excited. Ooh, so pretty. Okay. There's a plastic sleeve on them. That's interesting. 
All right, now I'm not sure if the camera's gonna be able to, to get all of this, but we'll try. So on the edge, there are sequins. On the top of each sun, on the top of each glass, there are sequins, and then on the sides, there are sequins, and underneath the Chanel that's embossed over it. All right, let's see how these look. Oh my goodness, I love them. They are, it just canceled out all of the light in this room. These are awesome. I feel kind of like, <laughs> I love these. Okay guys, well, I will link to these sunglasses if they're available. I know they also come, these are like the titanium, they're titanium, and I know that these are the, the black ones, they're like all black. But there is another pair that I think is like gold and green or something. Um, and if those exist, I'll list those too. But these are awesome. I love these. <laughs> so thanks so much for joining me today, guys. I really do appreciate it. And I hope to see you in another video really soon. Bye.